Hey folks, it's Hainan with Optimal Networks. I wanted to take a minute today and give you some of the main differences between Slack and Microsoft Teams. Because everyone's talking about them, everyone is talking about them as if they're the same, but they're actually very different pieces of software, and it's important to see where they are. So uh, Teams is included in Office 365. So if you are an Office 365 user, it's really something you need to look at now because it's two years or so since they've introduced it and now we're starting to see the impact of Microsoft's ability to throw a product into the marketplace which they're very good at even though it's way premature and then gradually building and improving it until it gets into the market. Of course Slack is the is, is huge and it's being adopted at rapid rapid rates and we use it so fair disclosure we use it uh, we also support Teams, so it's uh, we we do know both. So let me show you uh, the two, and and you can uh, figure it out for yourself. So first of all, um, if I if I turn this on here, this is Slack. Yeah, you like this? I got I got some new uh, little video tools going on here. So this is Slack, and what you can see is there's three panes of information on Slack. This pane right here, this is a list of all your channels. Right, so all the discussion groups that you're talking about, all the discussion, the projects, the clients, whatever you decide to do. This in the middle is like a whole conversational history. This pane right in here, entire conversational history, which basically any information that you're posting, files that you're posting, they all go in this stream of the conversation. And here are some additional details. Of course, you can see my picture, which is very important. But it's, I'm just looking at my own personal channel in here, so you can see what's there. Uh, you can also pin files and things like that. Slack is very easy to use. It's very fast. It's very intuitive. Okay, and um, and people get up and running with it very quickly. Teams, on the other hand, I'm just showing you the web versions of these guys. Teams has some similar capabilities here, which is you can see um, you have the list of channels right here, right? And then you have the information here, like if you have a conversation or such, it all goes in here. You don't really have the detailed pane as much as you do in Slack. It gives you some other, other things that are not quite as relevant. But one of the things that Teams does do is it gives you these tabs across the top. So you can literally have all your conversations in this tab, your files in this tab, you know, questions and answers in the wiki tab. Um, you can even set up your own tab. So you can, if there's a particular video that you wanted to do, like, whoops, so this is Adam, uh, which I like showing off. Or uh, if you had like a particular file that you were working on that you wanted to have right here, you could have a Word document in here. Um, you could have other types of documents, browser pages, so on and so forth. So there visually, now you've seen the two. Hopefully you've also noticed that, um, that Teams is slower than Slack. It's definitely sort of moving a little bit more sluggishly. It is. It it does not integrate with third parties as well as Slack does. Slack really nails the integration with all sorts of third party applications, whereas Microsoft Teams is decent with a few of them. It is spectacular at interfacing with 365, with Microsoft Word, with Excel, with you know uh, the SharePoint and OneDrive and all that stuff. Very very good at that. So. Really, uh, the other advantage is that it's free, right? So you get the full functionality of uh, Microsoft Teams at no additional charge if you're paying for the whole Office 365. Whereas Slack, there is a free version, and it does serve a purpose for most people, but to really do all the integrations that you want to do and make it really functional, you have, um, there is a paid version. So anyway, I. I just throw that out there for you. I guess my key point is no matter which one you choose or which one you want to evaluate, try to do the setup professionally and treat it like a real IT project. Um, and we are more than happy to help with that to help you pick what the channels should be, help, help do some training, uh, help do the setup, help run even a little pilot in your company, and then do the implementation in a way that is permanent and involves a lot of adoption by your entire staff, um, it really, really, really makes a difference. Anyway, thanks so much for listening, and um, happy collaborating.